Welcome back to your view uh, here out in Linden with the CIC of the Economic Freedom Fighters. So on a round of uh, Bongiwe, mm. the ESCOM thing, yes. quickly, yes. Is saying, forget it, they're not going to pay it. Uh, let's round off that so we can get into the lending. And before we round, like just the final question, you mm -hmm. say that yeah. scrap it and then they'll start from scratch and pay. But some of those that we've spoken to from Soweto are saying, no, we don't have money to pay for electricity. Give us jobs first. So it doesn't mean then that if ESCOM scraps this debt, it has the guarantee that if it starts collecting from a clean slate, it will get its money back. Those are indigent policies. It's not a crisis. When a person says, scrap it, I won't pay because I'm not working, I don't have an income. There is a policy that deals with that. There's a provision of electricity for such people, there's a provision of water for such people. But there are people in Soweto who are working. And once we cancel, we'll have all the right to get at them. So the Soweto people say, you can come for the money, you can even sell their houses. They are not worth the amount of money we are owing. You will still not make that money you are looking for. You are not collecting anything. Let's cancel, we'll start collecting, and the political parties, the church leaders, the business people, the influencers in society, mm. particularly in Soweto, we all zoom in there. We conscientize society. We make them understand and appreciate the importance of paying, particularly those who cannot afford. But those who cannot afford, Yes, they must not pay. Now, pay I, with what? I know JJ wants to get to the land, and fine, let, let's let the ESCOM issue, and I'm going to give you a chance to yeah. get to the land. <laughs> so it is not the only township. Yeah. Right? They're grueling mm -hmm. in Tembisa. They're also not paying. The I people of Soweto are also saying, well, if you do it for the people of Soweto, mm -hmm. we also Me want too. it. Yeah. And, and already ESCOM is 450 billion rands in debt. Tito is saying, no, let's sell these uh, coal powered power stations so that we can recoup this uh, 450 billion rands. How are we going to take care of this debt? No, we need to develop an alternative uh, option than to privatize uh, our own uh, state institutions because we want to deal with the debt. We are going to sell these things and there will not be electricity for our people because we will not afford under the private sector. The private sector is driven by profit making for the sake of making profit. And therefore, they are going to go in there and just make electricity expensive, our people can afford it. Let's, I mean, the independent power producers are an example. Mm. They, they are selling at an abnormal rate now to ESCOM, meaning we have to now push ESCOM to increase the tariffs, and the, only the few will afford. When we started, correctly so you said, some of these institutions should not be profit-driven. They must be at the center of development. a developmental state. Mm. And, and the obsession with profit is exactly what makes us to lose sight of why did we initially form these companies? Was to make profit or was to provide the basic service to our people? Let's take SAA. If we dare privatize that thing, mm. Nalwen, Rear Greyhound, <laughs> who will not afford flying, I can tell you that. You think you are a black elite, privatize it. No. It will be Judas completely white. An MP. Yeah. It's okay. I'm, I'm back to that. He'll, he'll be okay. He'll still fly. But I'm not going to die an yeah. MP. I'll, I'll be out of parliament tomorrow, yeah. and I shouldn't be even use yeah. my benefits you seem to, be to, 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 yeah. to now think that because I'm privileged, therefore, I don't care. I still yeah. care even when I have the free ones. I still care even when I fly yeah. uh, business I, I class. I hear what you are saying about uh, uh, private sector being for profit, but there are some patriots oh. who, are, no. <laughs> who are business people, no. right? Yes, because you were funded by a private UMB. You were not know, funded by government. You, yes. you, had to, you, get to, you had to get money from a, a private business person yes. to get you to register for politics, which for me, just that example tells me that there's a way in which we need to look at how we can draw from the private sector those who want to build this country and from the public sector and then be able to fix things like SAA, in, fix things he, like he, he, he never tweeted on his Facebook or, uh, I mean, uh, tweeted on Twitter or write on his Facebook that I want to fund anyone who wants to form a political party. He financed it because of proximity to me. Yeah. And it's for personal selfish reasons. Yeah. But Those you, reasons but are. You'll be in government. I'm there'll be many people. No, no, but his immediate you. move yeah. is I'm supporting my friend. He's not doing those things for, no, for, for being patriotic and all that. He can, on a, yeah. now, on a, on a, on a you know, second thought, think, ah, 
I thought I was just being a good friend, Let's talk about but length. it looks like yeah. I've contributed to a bigger project here, and that will help to conscientize him. But he cannot come here and tell me, Mazoti, that he's a, he's a patriot, he wants to good for everyone. No, he's profit-driven. Worse, yeah. he's engaged in a dangerous business of cigarettes. And so why would you take money from him if he's engaged in such a dangerous business? No, I took money from a businessman. All business is dangerous. Minds are dangerous. They can collapse on you. So basically, Underground. So business basically is dangerous. What you, so for you, flying an SAA flight or a private flight in a in a in a in a, a flight business is dangerous. So, it, so it nobody can does that worry about CR17 yes. taking money from all these mm. capitalists? No, Billions. no. Who worries? I'm asking. Are you? No, worried? We are, no, no. We are yep. saying to him, release. Release Who, what? Release the names. The names, because we want to know. The EFF got two hundred thousand from Mazoti. We know. And, and you wanted to know Mazoti. Why are you not wanting to know Cyril? You have a sense that he's trying to hide them. He's hiding them, for obvious reasons, because they control the state from behind. But even comparing me with Cyril is comparing bananas with apples. Cyril is a president. You ought to be worried. Who financed my president's campaign? But I'm, you could have be, be been president yes. yourself. Yeah, no, no, but you're fighting to be president. The stakes are different now. You ought, you, for instance, I said to the president, yeah. stop telling us that there are other people who got the money. They are not presidents. But they could have well, been. They no, could have been presidents. Was had about the, had historical they, had they been presidents, yeah. they were going to be treated the same way we were treating him. Because <laughs> that office requires yeah. a serious scrutiny. Once you occupy it, we want to know, actually, we, we heard about you, but who are you? You guys have so now we get but into you also a have influence in Swane, mm. in Jobek, in PE, which is in charge of billions of taxpayers' monies. It's not irrelevant who funded you. No, no, we're saying in comparison to the president. In comparison. You, so before, are, before, you are using us yeah. to hide mm. a critical issue of the favorite. Who paid 500 million? Mm. And, and, and you know, I, I walk with confidence because I, I refuse to take all of you serious. If it was Malema 500 million, all of you will be asking the question, was tax paid? Are these people paying tax? How are they? This hypocrisy yeah. makes me very happy because no one will come to me <laughs> and tell me any nonsense until you scrutinize all of us. This yeah. thing you are take, taking me on, on Mazuti, yeah. you don't take the president on on such things. So, the so president has sealed uh -huh. The yeah. documents in court. Mm. Yeah. And what makes me even more worried is that we are told there are 46 charges mm. in those sealed documents. Are you not interested to know if there are judges there? Let's put the president. Let's away. leave oh, that. A no, that's why we must put can him I, aside can, because he's the favorite. Can I ask? No, no, no. But he for must now, never be touched talk, like because that. Because we're talking to you. No, yes. we, we, because we're talking to you now. Yes. Are you saying that because you call yourself a government in waiting, mm -hmm. we shouldn't look at you? We are more than open. You're, you can yeah. scrutinize us anyhow you want. We are saying don't treat us differently. Yeah. Stop having favorites. We want to treat, treat you, us the we same. Want to treat you the same. And, and I want treat to treat us the you are, same. You are waiting to govern. Yes. But you don't treat the yeah. ones who are governing. No, we are. We, he was here. We asked him the same question. We said, are you telling us truly that you didn't know who's funding? No, no. JJ, yes, when I say you, yeah, let's not personalize it. Yeah. I'm saying the media fraternity. Yeah. And well, those powers that should hold him accountable are not doing that. Yeah. Let's take the ANC, for instance. The ANC has got no policy of individual campaigning money. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's no such a thing. It's actually it's discouraged. Yes. It's not allowed. No one is asking the ANC the question, are you going to take any disciplinary action? The president speaks about it freely as if it's a permissible thing. If Ace Mahashule had to say, I received money to fight for a, a position of Secretary General, yeah. you, you won't sleep. <laughs> but but you're, so, you're so fired up about this right because, now, right? Because and, and I understand, but why were you not this fired up in Parliament when you asked him that question? No, I asked him. Mbuiseni stood up and but, told... But it was Mbuiseni. It was not you. You're fired up now, but yeah. you stood up and you said, I want to know how many of my people, of my people you've paid. And, and it was like a banter between you and him, and you sat down, yeah. and even after he answered that question, you were not as fired up as you are now. No, no. I asked him, and I was fired up, because when I get fired up in Parliament, you still have a problem. I'm disruptive and disrespectful. <laughs> when I'm not fired up, it's a problem. I asked him politely, I would have cited, said it more, 
in a different with a different expression i said to him you won on the ticket of transparency mm. today you are the one who's refusing transparency how do you justify that and the one of my members was by the way yeah. so the basic question is and 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 it's not being called a hypocrisy by the way a hypocrite by the yeah. way he won with a ticket of transparency yeah. the most honest man in mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> today he says my things must be sealed no one says no but you are the one who said you are the open book yeah why but, today are you becoming that the, and but, i but, asked him and he yeah. said no i'm still on transparency there are some uh, statements there which he are sensitive you know how statements are yeah. and then yeah. i left him you know why i'm leaving Cyril? Mm -hmm. because Cyril is reviewing the public protector as uh, report Court, yes once the court pronounced that it's a constitutional delinquent, you know what will happen to but, him. But and I... Zuma, <clears throat> if you say you didn't treat Zuma the same, yes. Zuma had no intention to review the public protector's report. So what, what, He what, never took it to court. Let's what talk do you about say this. about Actually, he used saying... parliament to review the public protector's report. That's when the fire pool drama happened. Mm. They, were demos they were wanting to use a wrong institution to review the report. And I said to him, you're not going to do Any that. Any lessons from, to God. from the fact that some of your people mm. were paid? I mean, that's some, that was a strange, strange thing that happened there. Well, any lessons from there? And what, can you share with us what they told you, how this happened? But he bought everyone. That's the thing. That's a problem with entrusting a billionaire with holding a public office. Because he's going to buy everyone. He bought them in the media. He bought them in the legal fraternity. We're waiting to see in the judiciary. Uh, he bought them in the EFF. A person in the EFF says, yeah. he gave me money because I had a funeral uh, in April. My cousin or my mm. aunt was shot and my, uh, with the husband, they both died. I sent messages to everyone. He responded yeah. and sent, uh, called me, said, give me uh, the account number. Yeah. I did exactly that in April. Sounds reasonable. Fair enough. Why, why is this person resigned? But the money was given in 2017, not in April, February. Even when I still say to you, be honest with me, yeah. you lie. I see. So, so he has been giving them money from 2017. Yeah. And she says, I got money in April. Yeah. So it's not a single payment? No, it's more than three. And then the second one says, my child was sick. We know her situation. Yeah. We helped her, and I said to her, okay, was it before you told me? She told me, and we intervened immediately because her child's situation is unique. Yeah. Immediately. Was it before us or after. after us? She said it was before you, so I got the money, and I was like, no, that's fine. It's understandable. All right, she so received we're, we're, the we're money. Gonna, we're gonna take a break. She received yeah, the we're money. Take a break. She received the money in April. <laughs> After we intervened, yeah. hmm. took her, her child to the best medical uh, institutions, she still received this year from the president. So what genuine reason are you talking about? All right, let's they take were a on break the payroll. Now. We take a break there. Fiery conversation around the table here. Because hashtag your view on 405 if you want to participate further. We'll take one or two calls as we round off that conversation. Let's take a break now. Why do you have a problem in disclosing the names of people who have made contribution to you? Even if you were doing that for political party papers or contest in the party, you were the deputy president, you are the president, and you can't take leave from yourself. You can't say, today I'm on leave. I'm not a state deputy president, I'm a party deputy president. At all material times, you are the leader of our country. And the sooner you come to the reality that not everybody is a president of South Africa, and stop comparing yourself with other candidates. We do not have interest on them, they have not won. You are the president, and you shall be held with high standards because you are the president. You must never be shocked when we don't ask similar questions to, our, to nobodies because you are the number one citizen who occupies the highest office. And therefore, to compare yourself with nobodies, you are reducing not only yourself, but the office you are occupying. But this one, the last one, you'll answer me outside. How many of my members did you give money? <laughs>
the Honourable the President. All right, all right. Some interesting moments there in Parliament. Bongi, I know you wanted to just zone in on to that one yes. in particular. The, the, yes. The, the last, especially the last question you asked yeah. about the lessons that the yeah. EFF has learned from the resignation of two of its members of, from what you mentioned there. Now, you pride yourself as a party that has organisational discipline. Mm -hmm. What has this taught you about that particular aspect of organisational discipline within the EFF? Well, that was uh, an act of ill discipline. And uh, from time to time, as a, a living organization, you'll come across uh, such uh, uh, characters. Uh, parties try by all means, including the EFF, to try and check what's happening in other political formations and how you can counter that. Mm -hmm. It's a simple uh, lesson of uh, art of war. You ought to know the strength of your enemy in order to be ahead of them. And I think that the president was trying that, or his political party, was trying that. I mean, just imagine if they, they find a person in the ANC who receives money from me. EFF. From me. Mm. I mean, they, they won't even think twice about it. Mm. Uh, that person will be dealt with. But we are a small party, uh, JJ. And therefore, we, we must be careful. If, if you don't act now on people who took money from Ramaphosa, mm -hmm. people are going to take money from ACE. And ACE is not your favorite. You are going to come very hard. <laughs> Should we make but, it though? Uh, yeah, you are together because with ACE. That's why you take money from Je him. Jesse Duarte said, yeah. and I read here on her article yeah, sure. on news24.com, says there's no requirement in law that leaders should declare donations made to internal campaigns. It's not correct to impose some kind of standard after the fact yeah. and to do so uh, with respect to only one campaign. No, no, I, 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 I agree entirely with her. That's why... I'm raising the question in a different context. I'm saying to him, you said you are a transparent man. He must fall on his sword. Mm. I'm not saying based on this or that policy, mm. you are therefore obliged. I'm saying based on your theme, on what you told South Africans, that you have nothing to hide, you are a man with your money, you will not be easily corruptible, uh, you are transparent. Why are you hiding now? We're not talking those days. Jesse can educate us about anything. She must educate herself first about her relationship with the Guptas. So before she even tries to educate anyone, we're not talking about those things. We're talking about the president who said to us, unlike the rest, I'm the transparent man. You trust Ramaphosa. 100 days in office. Uh, uh, of course, he was, uh, uh, there was a lot of emphasis on his case with the public protector, etc., etc. That seems to have occupied a lot of his time. But if you were to assess his 100 days, would you give him a chance to govern? Let's say if we were to just pack the issue of the funding and so on, and maybe it goes well, and you know he's not found to be delinquent, as you are saying, do you trust this guy to take us forward? I don't trust him. I contested him. I would not have contested elections if I trust Ramaphosa. OK, put different. I don't trust the ANC. Okay. Ramaphosa and Zuma are from the same pot. Mm. So you can't cook uh, chicken feet in one pot and say, this Monatlana is nicer than the other Monatlana. They're all from the same pot. What do you say? They're the same. So but, what do you but, say but, about But from a stability of governance, mm. sorry, Bungi, but stability but, but, of but, governance, but, do you the, think there's a chance on the, in the sixth parliament now, and I'm coming to the land issue, mm. where we could find some common ground? Because you put a, a proposal, a, a yeah, yeah. resolution mm. yeah. a, a, in parliament when the ANC was still sort of half asleep mm -hmm. after, after Nazrek, mm. but you knew, of course, that they had taken that resolution yes. and you wanted to test whether they will follow through. They did, right? At least at that point. We are now at the sixth parliament. Is your view that they are bluffing? Is it still your view that they are bluffing? And if they are bluffing, what is the EFF going to do mm. as an agenda of the sixth parliament on land? JJ, let's start with the first question. When yep. I congratulated president after being elected by parliament, I mm. said, we're going to give you a chance. Mm. And we've done exactly that. And my sister says, every time you talk to him, you are not the way we know you. Mm. It's exactly the fact that we said, Let's give him a chance. Mm. Let's see. The people have entrusted him with that responsibility. Mm. To immediately undermine him will be equal to undermining the will of the people. And mm. we're doing exactly that. So we have no option. He's elected yeah. democratically. If you respect democracy, you ought to give him a chance. Until institutions pronounce differently. The first institution has gone against him which is a public protector institution, which may, must be respected, mm. and is taking it on review. Once the court says he's a delinquent, he must not even bother to come to that parliament. He must stay at home. 
So the land question, yes. the ANC is bluffing about it. And, uh, and, 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 and both factions of the ANC, by the way, there is no faction that is committed to land. The, the other faction was using it as a political motto uh, so that they can be seen to be relevant mm. and, then, uh, and, and more radical and mm. get elected against him, who was projected to be a darling of white monopoly capital, which is going to take over what is left of us in the state. So there is no commitment from the ANC to expropriate land without compensation. Mm. And even if you listen to different candidates, they all say, yeah, well, uh, we, we, we ought to be very careful how we go about it and, and all of that. It's like the ownership of the Reserve Bank. Are you saying we're back to square one in terms of a big campaign now to convince everybody that the land approach that you put on the table, that Parliament has almost uh, adopted after all of the consultations in the public, is the way to go? We, we, we are going to pursue it internally in Parliament. There is a committee set up to look specifically on that resolution of parliament. And I can tell you we'll see it through. Mm. Uh, uh, because the sloganeers which are fighting Cyril, they will want to be seen, to be committed to it. And we are going to use that to make sure that the policy of the EFF uh, find an expression, because that's what the people of South Africa want. Let's hear what the that's people what the are ANC saying. said yeah. uh, during elections, that yeah. it will expropriate land. Let's hear what the people are saying about land, your land policies in our streets uh, tonight. Firstly, it, this land has been taken to our great for, forefathers without compensation. So now I'm saying we should share the land. We don't take it away from it. We should share it without any compensation just to be equal. Because at this moment, the white people are exploiting our black people in the farms. Because our farmers are working without, if, without being registered. They're not even getting paid properly. How can we share the land? Because this land is all, uh, it was for us uh, before. Eh? We must share it, but not compensate. We don't have to pay it, we must share it. Yeah, I believe to share the land. Mm, I think there is the right decision to share the land because there is a land that you find that is, is not occupied and he stayed for more than 20 years without occupation. So I think it's a good decision. Well, I feel like you can't give people land without having them pay for it because how are they going to maintain the land if they aren't able to pay for the land that they're trying to get? You understand? So that means agriculture will go down and hence having our economic also falling, which is already happening. So you can't expect people to give away their land without expecting anything in return for that land. No, they shouldn't give up the land. If you can fight for it, fight for it. You know, but if you can't do anything about it, then it's fine. It's whatever. Um, the land issue is quite a tricky one because it depends on how exactly we're going to go about taking the land. You know, I do believe in it, though. I feel that, you know, um, especially because after apartheid, black people necessarily didn't get any reparations. You know, so that could form part of our reparations and we could move forward from there on. Because if you think about it, we were given power, right? But now with that power, the same people we've ordained to lead us are not really doing the most for us, yeah. All right, uh, interesting conversations in the streets there about land. Temba in Port Elizabeth, good evening. They say good evening to you, good evening to PIP. Go for it. Yes, thank you, they say, they say in passing, man. Please, man, understand that the energy generation, ESCOM is selling it at a loss to uh, energy generation. Now, public management finance does not allow anyone to sell any public product, property at a loss. Mm. The 21 billion rand lost at ESCOM is because of the renewable energy mm. that is sold at a loss. That's my, that's my passing. But... Hey, 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 let's go to the land. Yes, quickly, I want, I want CIC to talk and understand the impact once land has been taken away from the current owners. The production, agricultural produce, the market for it will fall immediately. It will be difficult even to transport the potatoes from the farm into the city centers. How are we going to rescue that situation? Because that market is going to fall down. And how are we uh, capacitating our communities to produce their own food mm. while we will be faced 
with the economy of the agricultural produce that has fallen down for the whole mm -hmm. 10 years after the length of expropriation. All right, Tempa, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. I think that's key enough. We'll get the CIC to answer that as his last word on the land issue uh, before we get into other themes. I would like to also explore the issue, for example, about the relationship between the EFF and the media, which has quite, been quite heated uh, in recent times. Let's take a break now. Stay tuned. <laughs>